Hi, in this tutorial we are going to discuss where we can use Selenium IDE add-on of Firefox and also discuss where we cannot use it. As you know Selenium IDE is based on JavaScript so it records the events that are allowed to be captured via JavaScript engine of our browser which is Firefox. In order to capture some of the events which are not supported by IDE we have to use Selenium RC or Selenium web driver to capture and record tasks because IDE doesn't support and that is why we'll take a look at some of uh, such examples for example let's try with flash I'm checking the website of miniclip as you know miniclip is a um, flash based game site if you want to test the working of these games for example like click button or some other event like checking the audio of game then with the help of selenium id that is not possible because the canvas element that flash is using is under its own sandbox which doesn't allow external javascript to access any of flash element and that is one reason why selenium id can't capture and record the action events also you will find some of the html5 based websites and animated pages not fully supported by Selenium IDE. Also, some of the pages where you will find document object model elements are not accessible by IDE. However, if you use Selenium Flash with your Selenium RC installation, then you will be able to capture and record now that we have discussed the limitation with the flash uh, you need to note that silverlight which is from microsoft is also not supported by selenium selenium id however you may use some um, community related support extensions for selenium rc and selenium web driver which may able to use flash and silverlight and html5 so that you can capture and record the element along with that uh, note that some sites have canvas for animation and also for the content and selenium id cannot fully support the canvas elements so the current version restricts us from using those elements and you may not able to observe those elements in the source one more such limitation is file uploads uh, selenium doesn't have access to the file upload elements like input and file upload submit so the ajax based program where you are seeing file upload or, or some of the buttons that are required to upload our file may not be able to be part of our test so that is the limitation of 
selenium ID For example, upload images where we go to the computer and open some of the files. So in such cases, we cannot use this sort of upload button to be captured via Selenium ID test case. So these are pretty much the limitations that I have noticed while using Selenium IDE. Though you can use Selenium RCN web driver for capturing flash based events. And there seems to be support for flash and HTML5 if you're using Selenium RC or web driver. hope you find this video informative for your use thank you